Hi everybody, we're outside at HEB Central Market in Austin, Texas. We're in a little bit of a food recon. We gotta get some fresh oysters that we're gonna shuck tonight. This is a great place to buy fresh seafood. Love it. Go here all the time to buy it. We're gonna make a charbroiled oyster recipe from a recipe we had in New Orleans uh, from a restaurant called Drago's, which has this famous charbroiled oyster recipe. Everybody loves it. Kids love it. I love it. I think we, you're gonna like it too. So we're gonna go in get the oysters, take them home, shuck them, and cook them up. So let's go. Yeah, some oysters, please. Yeah. What's that? Uh, I want the fresh gold. Hello, how are you? Fine, how are you, sir? Good. These Texas oysters? Uh, one's Texas and then the other one's uh, somewhere else. Yeah. Mission accomplished. We're not going to, we've got the oysters. We're going to take them back and cook them. Check this out. Okay, we're making the cheese sauce for the oysters right now. It's, what it is is actually some butter and then two kinds of cheeses, Pecorino Romano and traditional Parmesan cheese. Henry's grating it all together right now, and then we're gonna combine it all, a little bit of salt and pepper, a few other things, and then we're gonna shuck the oysters and throw them on the grill and eat them, and it's gonna be really good. All right, hey, this thing takes some butter, of course. That's what, one of the reasons why it makes it so good. So we're gonna take this, some butter, gonna put it in the cheese, some salt and pepper, details on spatulodad.com for the recipes, but keep watching, here we go. Another thing, garlic. Get up garlic for this recipe, and you really can never have too much garlic. So, here I'm again, chopping garlic. Wow, the sauce smells like the restaurant. Awesome, can't wait to try it. Cool. Okay, we're gonna shuck some oysters out. First thing you need is an oyster shucking tool available at most grocery stores or seafood retailers. Very important, you gotta have this. Anyway, we're gonna take this oyster and you wanna find the bottom, kind of the bottom part. The top part's the one that kind of just goes up when they're in the ocean. Um, so you wanna put the, uh, have the top part, what they call the lid, I think, on top, of course. And you find the, uh, the little joint back here Take your oyster shucking tool, you stick it in, turn it, and it should pop right up. You want to take the tool and just very gently go along the surface of the lid, scrape off the top because the oyster will stick a little bit to the top. Just kind of gently roll the uh, tool in there, and then he should be really good to go. And take him off here. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that. Awesome. There's the brine water. As you can see, we want to keep that in there as much as we can. That's what uh, helps give them a lot of their flavor. Shucked oyster. Now we're going to cook it. All right, we've got our oysters that we just shucked. Now we're going to put them on the hottest part of the grill. So you just want to take them. And again, you want to make sure that uh, keep the little brine juice in there. Adds to the flavor. You're going to set them here on a grill that's really hot. I just kind of almost burned my hand, but I'll be all right. I'm gonna put them in like this. And again, this is a recipe that we uh, had at Drago's restaurant in New Orleans a couple of weeks ago. We loved it so much. We've come home and we're gonna try and make it ourselves. So hopefully it will be just as good. All right, we've got our sauce here. We're gonna just put a little dab of the cheese sauce, cheese and butter sauce. <laughs> on each one of these guys and let it melt away and do what it needs to do. Okay, we're making charbroiled oysters. As you can see, they're definitely getting charbroiled and that's the cheese and the butter that's causing the flame up. It's really cooking them. It's gonna really make them taste good. All right, what do y'all think? Mm. Mm. It's too cool for school. So good. Too cool for school. Awesome. Thank you. Sorry. We were successful. All right. Check it out. SpatulaDad.com with the full recipe. Mm.